Hey, it's Joe Glines from The Automator, and I was doing some selecting here in Canva, and it was really annoying, so I thought I'd make this short video. Uh, let's take a quick look at the code and how to do it, but first, please like this video. I'd really appreciate it. Cheers. Let me go ahead and share my desktop here, and I was in Canva, and I had a lot of images that um, I no longer wanted to have there anymore, but you have to go through and go check, check, check. And I had hundreds, right? This is, I already deleted them, but I just want to have an example here. So after you select them, then you would hit this delete. I don't want to do that. I don't know if I'm going to unselect them. Good, good. So the question is, how do we, you know, select these? And what I first do is I manually, um, I'll get one selected. Now I say, okay, if I this one was selected, how would I get to the next one? And I would just hit tab. Oh, look at that. It selected it. So, so we're going to start off with... Um, hit the space bar, often the space bar will select something, right? And then go, okay, how do I move to the next one? So tab, look, that didn't get me to the next one. Tab, that somehow went back to the original, which is weird. Oh, look at this, I'm on the next one, hit space. So then I would, oh, okay, let's do tab, tab, tab. Oh, look, I'm on the next one, great. So what we need to do is, let's go into studio, um, and we're gonna create a loop, right? So loop, and I'll do five to start. Um, I might beef this up later. And we're going to say send um, tab, and I could do I could do it like this tab tab tab, but in auto hotkey you can just do this tab send three tabs basically, and then we're going to send, and I could put this on the same line, but I like kind of breaking them out separately. Either way, it doesn't matter. So now I'm going to save this, launch it. Now the thing is, I want to come back in here. This I think assumes I have something selected. So now I'm gonna hit my hotkey and look at that. It looks like we selected five, I'm gonna hit it again. Okay, there's another five, another five. And this is where, depending on how many you have, I might come back in here and say, hey, let's select 25, All right? Come back in here. Now that it is important that you make sure you're starting from the same spot. So reload, hit my hotkey. That's interesting is it, it didn't seem to react, but I, I was patient and it did go and select. I guess it's just going really fast. So this is how and you can see this number down here, 7196. Too bad I'm not on an even number, but um, yeah, it's selecting 25 at a time. So a simple way just to select all the stuff and then I could just hit delete, right? But this little, basically three lines if I don't include my hotkey to launch it, right? When I used to do it at TI, I had a thing like this where I use a lot. And I had one hotkey to do the 25 and one, a different hotkey to do five. Let's we'll say I'll put a return here because I don't want oh, return. And this would be, let's just say control J, whatever, right? So I had one for doing a lot of loops, you know, or maybe like a hundred or whatever. And then this one I could, when I was getting close to what I wanted, I could hit a different hotkey and have it select a different number of stuff. So very simple thing. Now, if this was something I was doing a lot, I would probably try to automate it with Chrome because I'm in here and, and I could probably get this. But you know what? Sometimes it's just easy to just do it this way. So hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know what you think. And please like the video. I'd really appreciate it. Cheers.